Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, in 2017, my mom, my dad, my little sister, little brother and I went out to a restaurant at Willow's. My dad was inside paying the bills and we were waiting outside and this drunken woman came up to me. She touched my headscarf, my hijab and said, hey you, what are you doing here? What's this on your head? Go back to where you came from. Go home. Ladies and gentlemen, this was the first and last time my family ever went out to dinner. Who here lives in one home with one family, one life? Well, not me. This has shaved my outlooks on things that fit into the world today. Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to let you know that parents are at fault for the youth crime in Australia. Let me ask you a question. Do you like math? The answer probably is you don't really care at all about math, but you're either way. But let me ask you, do you like math at school? Most of you who aren't nerds would probably say no. Who needs to know about binomials if you want to be a farmer when you grow up? Why do tradies need to learn about indices and quadratic equations? Every year, thousands of people lose their car to teenagers who think it's funny to steal people's car and then post it on Instagram because they think it's cool. Well, it stops today. Teenagers always go back to do it again because when, because when they get caught, the parents don't get in any trouble, so they just let them do it again. How would you feel if you had three kids all alone and you got comments from your ex every day over the phone that were hateful and on the borderline of death threats? That is how my mother felt when I was only just a toddler. Topic is about uh, porn addiction and its uh, impact on adolescents. I reckon last generation's teenagers were addicted to cigarettes, but this generation everyone's addicted to porn. You are the future. You can make a difference. You should be voting. You need to speak up. You, little 11 year old girl, can change the world. In math, we have, we're learning about GST and taxes. We don't even have jobs or licenses. In social studies, we're learning about how to interview and interact with our work colleagues. I'm only 11. P social media causes huge peer pressure to grow up. I feel peer pressure to watch mature and scary videos, to be slim and flexible. I have to listen to the new trending music. I just want to listen to rock and roll. If you really want us to make a difference, take our phones off of us and let us be kids for once. I do power pop art and crafts. It's where you have a hot glue gun. Be careful of the hot glue gun. Have you ever been in your room alone, crying, upset? Just don't know why? Well, thank you. Oh, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. You died. Um, um, well, I'm here. To, I'm Nicholas Dale. I'm here to talk to you about um, depression in youth. Very good. So why do I believe that children should vote? There are three main reasons. One, kids pay taxes whenever they buy something. Last week I bought a bottle of iced tea from the tax shop and it included 41 cents in GST. I think I should have a say about what the Prime Minister is doing with my tax. How often have we found ourselves comparing ourselves to celebrities and influencers? I know I have. Die. <laughs> For yourself. No one likes you. But of course. <laughs> it is all a joke. How do you feel if someone says that to you? What, what, ha what if your friend says that to you and you're having an extremely bad day? It's not nice, is it? But it's a joke. So don't take it too harsh. Gosh. Have we become more insensitive? <laughs> in our generation. Is it thanks to the social media where we can anonymously say anything we want to? Young fellas, I need to tell you, you need to wake up to yourself, eh? Start respecting your mum, start respecting your brothers, look after each other, even the big brothers, stop giving your young brothers weed and things. You need to encourage them to go to school, eh? Look after them. Once they finish school, they look after you. That's how it is. You know, what goes around comes around. My generation has been brought up differently. We are indoors more and always on some form of technology. That's just how it is. Technology is integral to our life. I feel like the older generation were more indoorsy, 
more outdoorsy, more into face-to-face -face communication. It's 10 p.m. You should be sleeping, but instead you're on social media, glued to a screen. You're scrolling endlessly while watching people achieve the greatest things whilst you're stuck in bed, too lazy to even sleep. My biggest fear is that my own generation, even good students like myself, will not want to work. Bad parenting. I see many parents spoon feeding my friends. These friends do nothing for themselves. Mum takes out the bins, cleans their room, dad mows the lawns, and as a result, these people have no drive nor determination to get anything done for themselves. They not only have all their needs, but all their wants accommodated without the bat of an eye. New $1,800 phone? Take it. New $1,000 bike? Take it. This teaches them that they don't need to work for anything. The biggest challenge facing the youth of today is that we procrastinate in everything we do. We are addicted to the mobile phone, and you, as parents and as teachers, hand it to us and allow it to give us dopamine hits every single minute of the day. Please remember to work hard, but also to live life, to love life. I am an average teenager who may or may not spend a little bit too much time on social media. But I'm sure you've heard it before, I have it under control. Although you might be trying to help, nobody has ever cured depression with a quote, positive quote from Instagram. I still have anxiety. I always will, but I choose to fight it. What if I can do it? What if I succeed? What if they love it? And I'm here to talk about... <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I feel like it's a crime to you men. These double standards continue to wreak havoc in our society. When I go on a date, I fear that if I offer to pay, I'm being a sexist. And she can pay for her own meal. But if I don't pay, well, no, then I'm not being a gentleman. Two out of three people that did our survey found that we found that they had either social anxiety or depression. So the frog grabbed a huge rock and smashed the basket with all the water. And all the water went spreading out on the land. And that's how the land got water. This experience made me sad, frustrated, and angry. I wish I had dealt with it differently. Bullying should be one of the main priorities to monitor within our community. As I, have, as I have experienced bullying and being targeted as a victim, I would now like to share and persuade everyone as to how to overcome bullying. It's just easier to keep your mouth shut. Everything is being blown out of proportion and with so many rules and regulations for guys to follow, common courtesy, confidence and basic human decency will die out. All men are now being painted as the big bad wolf of society. We, as a society, as a whole, need to start lifting and empowering each other. Because if we don't, then this battle of men versus women will never end. We cannot live in a world where basic kindness is viewed as sexism. We cannot blur the line between sexism and kindness. Because what positive end result could that possibly have? me or my generation like living to like to to the age to die of old age i know it's just something weird that i can't imagine like i feel with all the stuff that's going on and all the climate change and the amazon's on fire and yeah we're all gonna die before we get to like 80. It's, if i had to choose an anxiety i think i would go with that one um a solution just don't think about it
A communication coach is calling on schools to stop relying so heavily on digital devices. Why is this impacting kids' speech abilities? Jane Kewitt has launched a new workshop to combat bad habits they pick up from excessive use of mobile phones. It's not uncommon for students to be scrolling through mobile phones and texting instead of talking to each other face to face. The ABS has said that it's seven hours and 13 minutes that our children are spending on our devices. But in this classroom, you won't spot a single device. Ban it from schools immediately. Joanne Kewen believes the devices have devastating effects on students' speaking skills. They're huge. They don't have memory. Uh, imagination. We see children with their heads on the desks at 9am. That's why the communication coach has launched a course called Blah with the help of James Cook University and the Rotary Club of Townsville to coach our young people in the north and then to enter a fun competition. I think it's important to get students trained at a young age to be able to have conversations with people day to day life. These 10 students are the first to take part in the course. It would be a really good opportunity to improve my speaking skills. I'm playing with my shorts. Yeah. Okay, this is signed on now, please. Nature Van Hunter and the News. I used to find it hard to talk to people and wouldn't have done anything like blah, but it's great. I have so much more confidence speaking now. Blah is a communication challenge for kids grade four to grade 12. You get three hours of fun coaching for your three minute speech, online resources, and you get to meet heaps of other kids. So scan or go to the website for all the details about Blah, including dates and times. Blah, communication is key.